Elizabeth Appleby reading Exeter from Henry V. And thus he greets your majesty. He bids you, in the name of God Almighty, that you divest yourself and lay apart the borrowed glories that by gift of heaven, by law of nature and of nations, long to him and his heirs, namely the crown. And when you find him evenly derived from his most famed of famed ancestors, Edward III, he wills you then resign your crown and kingdom, indirectly held from him the native and true challenger. Or else what follows? Bloody constraint. For if you hide the crown, even in your hearts, there will he rake for it. Therefore in a fierce tempest is he coming, in thunder and in earthquake, like a Jove, that if requiring fail, he will compel, and bids you, in the bowels of the Lord, deliver up the crown and to take pity on those poor souls for whom this hungry war opens his vasty jaws, and on your head, turning the widow's cries, the orphan's tears, the dead men's blood, the pining maiden's groans for husbands, fathers, betrothed lovers that shall be swallowed in this controversy. This is his claim, his threatening, and my message. 